Okay, I wanted to show you guys how I was able to get the bit LCD monitor from at games to work on my PC. And this is, you need to be running LaunchBox, uh, Big Box to do this. And I was uh, looking around online and I kept finding a bunch of different answers and everything. But basically what you need to do is update to the latest Big Box. Um, so you need to pay. I I only paid a couple years ago. I never updated it. So now you can see it's already actually gone to um, the marquee up here. So let's go in here and we'll look at what you need to do. And I'll show you the settings because once you update to the latest big box, it's all it's all right there. That's that's what you need to do. Um, I also, right when I got the bit LCD, I didn't update it. I didn't do anything with it. Apparently there is a switch that you can flip that maybe switches between if it's going to use the uh, USB drive or an HDMI. I didn't need to flip it or anything. I don't know if you might need to check the switch on the back of the, the marquee, but anyhow, I did not need to do that. I was able just to plug an HDMI right into it. Um, so let's go to our, uh, I believe, let's see, options, uh, general. And you can see right here on general, you have a primary screen, which is one, which is my main monitor, marquee screen two. And the problem to see is your window is going to see that marquee as a full size display. That's the problem. But now over here, once you update, your uh, big box down here you're going to find marquee screen and in marquee screen what i ended up having to do was check both of the top so it's going to ignore the theme marquee views that just guarantees the compatibility with the below settings and then you're going to check stretch marquee images to fill the entire screen and that'll ignore the aspect ratios and it'll stretch it out to fill that but you also because before you do this and before you found before I found this it was cutting off the bottom of the picture so in here you can select a bunch of different options for the marquee and I just selected that what it's doing is it's cutting off the bottom two-thirds of the picture and once you select that then you're set now I'll show you a couple uh, let's go into the arcade and it even shows your uh, your platform overall. So now it, it's good to go. You know, it, it'd be nice if this did fill fill the whole area here, but you then you're going to be stretching your marquee even further. And um, right now they actually look pretty good. Um, and some of them you need to go through and make sure you update everything. Uh, Emu movies, just just download all of the uh, everything updated new. And it'll, it'll ensure that you have a good marquee. So you can see it's, it all, almost all of it looks great. If it doesn't, then it, it will show a, you know, generic fallback. And uh, some of these are so old and, you know, and kind of just crappy washed out looking, but, but there you go. It, it is, it is in the settings for big box. It's worth it to go ahead and uh, pay for big box, the premium. Um, just just knowing that they're they're still doing some things like this and actually updating the program and making it more user friendly because of what people are doing uh, i think it's it's worth paying i just went ahead and pay for the lifetime license i'm not affiliated with them or anything like that but you know i appreciate it um i'll get the camera here and i'll show you uh, also how i fit this in here in case any of you are actually working with a rec room masters cabinet which is what this is uh, i went ahead and um put the screen up there and and I'll, I'll show you how I did that okay so up here before you're just gonna have on a rec room you're just gonna have a clear piece of a uh, plastic and you know whatever whatever marquee you want to slide in there um, so the way to the way to get this bit, bit LCD to fit in here that this is the easiest way is these these screws right here are going to hold this top piece of wood so all i did was uh loosen the back ones and i took these top ones completely out they're not even screwed in 
So that way I could tilt this top up. And by tilting that top up, it gave me just enough room to push the bit LCD inside and fit it heightwise. And after I was able to fit that in there, I did some measurements and I cut out, uh, I had a leftover board with this nice black texture on it from uh, one of my other uh, projects. So I cut two pieces of that out. It was just a hair over seven inches tall and three inches wide. And then you want it less than a quarter inch to fit in the slot. So I did that for both sides. And then you can see it, it fit in there really nice. And then I tightened up the back one here really good. I just threw these back in here to make sure that they're in there. But I don't have anything else done with this yet, except for I'm going to maybe put a piece of uh, double-sided tape up here. So it'll help this stick to the marquee just in case. But, you know, this, this thing's pretty thick. And I don't think it's going to go anywhere. But it's a pretty expensive piece of equipment. So you don't want it to fall out of there. Um, I'm not worried about it really the way it is. But I don't think it's going to go anywhere at all. So that's it. It's pretty easy. Uh, also, another thing is you can take one of these bolts out. And if you get these, these work for uh, nice drink holders. I use them for beer. Uh, let's see, I don't think there's about anything else to do. Uh, I did also put a, uh, let's see, an Alexa enabled device on there. So that way I can turn it on and off by voice, the monitor. Because it said supposedly that this monitor does not stay on. It, it shuts off, somebody said. But after you shut everything off, it'll say no signal and it does go blank. But I'm pretty sure I could see uh, something of actual, like actually changing um, a little bit, the colors and stuff. So it wasn't totally black. So I don't believe that it actually will shut off if you have it hooked up this way. So I hope that helps some of you. Uh, if you have any other questions, put them in the comments and I'll try and answer them. Um, if you don't have one of these also, this really comes in handy, just a mini remote. And then, like I said, this is the Rec Room Masters Arcade um, with the uh, two player. And so this actually has switchable uh, inputs. If you hold this button down here, it'll switch to keyboard. If you hold this down, it switches to X input. So it emulates basically an Xbox controller. Uh, I forget what the middle one is, but it's another uh, type of gamepad or whatever, I, I believe. I don't really ever need to use that one. But it really helps out. Um, I'm running my speakers back here behind that. And in the bottom here, I have a PC running. And I also have an Xbox that I put in there sometimes. But, yep, that's that. So it didn't take very long at all to set that up.